Greetings! Hey, Jason! And you're our first commenter, even though I had a ton of people on Discord be like, I already have it open! Well, thank you for popping in from work. I'm excited to hang out tomorrow. <laughs> and when you're done with work and after stream and stuff, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll figure out exactly like when we're gonna meet, what we're gonna do. Uh, cause I was able to slide my previous engagement to a little bit earlier. Um, so I can definitely make sure that I can in fact meet you in Boston by two. I'm actually doing not too bad today, considering. Like, I really think the medications is at least helping with my dizziness, if not, uh, my stomach. Um, though today the nausea definitely wasn't terrible, so... You enjoy the floppy ears? Yeah. <laughs> so these are one of my older, well, one of, not, not necessarily my first pair of ears, but one of my first pairs of ears. Enough that they actually broke off of the original headband, and I put them on another headband, which unfortunately puts a lot of pressure behind my ears. But I had a ton of people being like, oh, don't worry, we're gonna have you change your ears frequently this stream, and I'm like, oh, okay. Your call finally, well, at least it finished just oh, in time. you touched my ta la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is probably my favorite new sound alert that I've added. <laughs> uh, uh, Rabdon? Oh, random, random. Um, let's see. Let me smash, please. Let me smash. Let's see, I see seven is the first number I see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's kind of how I did it, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I had fun today getting some new sound alerts. I'll probably do. Oh, apparently. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. See? New things to put your points. To use your points. You're done with sounds for now. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will find great timing for a lot of these sound alerts. Wake up. Okay, so I did quickly, um, actually during one of my uh, my telemedicine appointment today, just have the game run with a timer because I was very curious exactly how much exactly how much time passes before the sun goes supernova. Uh, the answer is 22 minutes. And if we remember, 22 minutes is what the Namai were trying to figure out using the black hole, white hole shenanigans about going back in time with power and all this bullshit. Um, so, hmm. There's also one thing. It only took you how long for more prize rewards? I, I kept being like, okay, people give me suggestions. And never gave me suggestions. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, sound alerts look fun. Oh, I can do sound alerts for, for channel points on top of bits? Oh, oh, this is gonna be so good. And I'll change them on, and I'll do like have we'll have a rotation, so it won't always be the same sound alerts and things like that. But your suggestions were good ones at the time. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Yeah, that song actually came up while watching a Lemon play. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's like a Step Mania style game and it came up and I'm like oh geez like step mania ding ding dong song oh the nostalgia I feel like I'm back in college oh I fucking love the music video for that song oh it's just the, the that entire song is an experience it is great okay so the first thing we're going to do I think I might have figured out while it's not necessarily important anymore because we've already gotten to the quantum moon, trying to get to that one cave that the um, quantum rock hearths to, I think I figured out how to get to it. Um, I had some deep shower thoughts about this game when I was in my shower today. To be fair, the Majora's Mask was also 22 minutes per day. Oh, probably. I didn't know, know that uh, 22 minutes were for... Uh, Majora's Mask. I actually never played Majora's Mask. 
Okay, there's Eyeless. <laughs> I need to figure out what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. You have stress tests, ooh, and no pain meds. I am... Um, well, at least after your stress test, you can take some more meds. Okay, you're gonna be like, while you do your last hour of work cleaning. Sounds good. And I feel like your viral will not appreciate running on a treadmill. No. Like, luckily, my doctors have been really kind and been doing other types of tests besides stress tests. Uh, cause they, uh, know how that bad that would be on my body right now. I'm, but I'm expect expecting that to do a stress test probably within, possibly within the next year, especially depending on what the PET scan shows. Well, remember the Tails group thought you looked like the actor? Oh no, yeah, you totally could cosplay him. A hundred percent crumb. I think it's the right number for Majora's Mask. Unfortunately, your, your heart nonsense, that's what, yeah. Like, I'm really curious whether it's dysautonomia like I have. Because, like, that makes a lot of sense. The first thing we're gonna start on the path to. Yep. That one cave. Okay. We're in outer space, and I want to go here. Nope, not to the sun. The thing is, the dysautonomia is caused by the Eller's Danlos. So it makes sense that we have a lot of the same conditions. Because we ha share this, the one condition that can cause all of these. I'll go to this point. Not the sun. Okay. Which one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look close. Let's down. Let's see, the cave was on the southern <laughs> hemisphere. Yes, we don't want to yeet ourselves into the sun. That'd be bad. Oh, this is the north hemisphere. This is not where I want. It would make sense now that you're reading about it. Yeah. Because, like, the meds that I'm currently being put on to help with, like, the dizziness and things like that, um, it's a nerve medication and then verapamil, which is actually usually given for... Uh, migraines, but in my particular case, because of the type of dysautonomia I have, um, it helps. Like, it's a good possibility that we have different types of dysautonomia. So I'd like to land. Yeah, we land. Mostly. Mostly safe. Over the edge. Yeah, because there's all sorts of different types. Oops, sorry, I accidentally just hold myself back in. Um, like, there's definitely diff a lot of different types of dysautonomia. Um, like, POTS is a very common one that is talked about. Um, and I, I basically have POTS without the T, I guess that's how it was explained. Where am I? Have I been here before? Questions? A lot of cactuses that I don't remember being here. Oh, this is just one of the other caves, I think. Yes, this is the coleus is missing. Travel here. Yes. So I th let's hop onto this. Because it might be dark enough in here for my test. Yes! Oh, I am so good. So if you notice, we're in a completely different cave. Turn off the lights, turn them back on. Oh, we're in a different cave again. Do it again. Oh, different cave. Now, I want it to go to a very specific cave. There's a cave that we haven't been to. Have we been to this cave? The cave that we just came from? Oh no, this is a new cave. How curious, this rocks took me with it to the new location. I wonder why this happened. Probably because your light went out. I wonder if I, if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. <laughs> I am going to bring my mentor here to see this. Malore is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. 
Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before had been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. Yep. So, like, this is the hint for how to get to, um, for the quantum moon. We were able to infer it based off of other things that we have done. Um, and I wanted to test it because I also I want to fill in all of the ship log stuff. You can't believe I figured out the rule by myself without the game hint. I know, I'm proud too. It's, the thing is, is that, okay, so I was actually talking to Squirrel about this earlier today. I know the basic understandings of quantum mechanics, specifically like quantum entanglement with Schrodinger's cat, um, with, with the, um, until something is observed, um, that are, could be in a superposition, meaning it, we don't know its state and until it is observed, it then collapses into what state you observe. Um, I understood that principle. So with all the talk about quantum entanglement and all of that, I'm like, huh, when I was on the moon, I'm like, and just looking like had the row of planets had the turning light on and off and i'm like okay this is how it this is how it be <laughs> just oh, light off why not yep so this is this cave i'm trying to think if there's another cave this is the one we just went into entered by yep yeah so it looks like there's three four caves this is the one that Coleus was in. There was another cave, I thought. I'm actually gonna put my scout launcher on it. Yeah, because while the macro version of this, it pro like quantum mechanics doesn't quite work like this. But then again, we don't completely understand everything with quantum mechanics. It's a lot of it is theories. So the fact that this game took, like, the broadest sense of a theory and brought it in was very interesting. Like, yeah, it's something the size of the moon exhibiting a quantum mechanic behavior like that is very unlikely. It is still really interesting. Up. Up. look up it'll move but apparently it does not want to but i want it back um okay i just wanted to come here to confirm my theory that that is how i could travel on that rock anything else in here probably not i'm curious ah, no, okay let's just go see exit um okay but for actually doing the next step Figuring out how to deal with Mr. Jellyfish. Oh, my ship is all the way over there. Um, is there a easier way? I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm not high enough. Oh, I'm gonna get covered in sand soon. Nope. Answer is no. Hi, Sand. Um, am I going to die to this? Yes, yes I am. That's fine. We saw- we did what I wanted to on that planet. Now it's probably going to Giant's Deep. And seeing if we can put the hints we have into practice. Because we know how to get below the waves. We know the center is electrified. We know that the jellyfish have their flesh is oh my god. That propels electricity. But the next question the question really is how do we make use of the jellyfish? Good log. 
Oh, is that Mark? Is there's more to explore here? Is there more to explore here? I'm not sure if it's important though. Because I think it's the other cave that I was trying to access. I'm not entirely sure how to access that one. And I know this quantum signal, and this was probably the other trial that we just completely skipped just from uh, inference from what we had seen of those rocks previous. There's a little bit more in the Sunless City. We've explored all of that, though apparently there's more in the vessel. I have a feeling that has to do with the drive core. The Ash Twin Project. Sun Station. There's a teleporter somewhere for that. A ruptured core. Which is, I think, this ruptured core that spread all the ghost matter across the um, the solar system. I think that is actually what caused all the Namai to die. That is my theory. Sure enough, dysautonomia can cause tachycardia, which is the fancy word for accelerated pulse. Yep. Um, like my resting pulse r runs between between ninety and hundred um, beats per minute. Beats per minute, or resting actually it's actually gotten lower on the medication which is good um, like my blood pressure is absolutely crazy so yeah so like take a look at dysautonomia as a suggestion and that in your um, cardiologist after doing a stress test might recommend it yeah like my blood pressure well I, I don't know if I've ever had a problem with it until very recently when I've been monitoring it more because I had to monitor it more um, for the medication I'm on because the blood medication can increase blood pressure. And then I noticed how my blood pressure was starts in the morning ridiculously high and then throughout the day declines till it's almost dangerously low at night. Don't know why. It's a thing my body does. It's weird. And it might be something that's related to my nausea. Who knows? Ellers Downlos and Dysautonomia is fucking weird. Buckle up. We are going to Giant Steep. Yeah, it's been a while since we have done a visit here. And the big unfortunate is like there's no real there's no cure for it. But um there are medications that can help so okay. <laughs> I can help. Yeah. Yeah, dysautonomia is a lot, which is why I had mixed feelings when I it did came, come down with the di uh, confirmation of that diagnosis. Like, I have an answer for stuff, but it doesn't necessarily change anything. It's like not much I can do for it. Like, we have medications we can try. But that does, and my gastroenterologist thinks that the nausea involvement it gets caused from the Ellis Stanlos and Dysautonomia, so and he he literally shrugged his, shrugged his shoulders at my last appointment. I'm just like, sir. Oh. tried exploring all the little islands because I'm, I'm not sure if we explored everything on all of them. Yeah, I at this point have not drank anything except for like an occasional sip in years at this point. Okay, we did find this already. Like this is about all the probe cannon stuff. Don't need to be here. Okay, so this is an equator island. I'm also trying to make note where I am on the little map on the side. I'm trying to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't. I might run along the equator to start. Buckle up. If I can actually figure out. Um... Yeah, I don't actually know how to tell which which direction I'm going once I'm in the ship. See, that's one of the ones that sends me down, I think. Oh no, it goes up. No, we're gonna fly up. Whee! Yeet!
this is a tele one of the teleporter locations. It's nice. Oh, I'm nailing these landings today. Hmm. Yeah, because I know um, alcohol will severely trigger my stomach stuff. And it's just not worth it at this point. Like, if I want to um, have a good time with people who are drinking alcohol, ooh, right, gravity is really high. I cannot do my flying jump stuff. Um, I just have weed. Um, excuse me, what? What are you? Where are you going? Um, that's interesting. I'll have to try to take a look at that after I finish exploring. Okay, I think we've explored this island, but I just want to be sure. Oh, I can be doing some research tonight and probably bring it up during a stress test tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Like, I would highly recommend the dysautonomia clinic that I see. The only problem is, is that it's uh, a little bit far away from you. But my doctor that I'm seeing is... I'm gonna pause real quick. Is... Uh, on the leaning edge of some of the um, of a lot of dysanomia research, so Valid, I'm gonna take him to go shopping with edibles with your mom tomorrow. Anyways, to compensate for not having pain meds tomorrow. Yes. Like at this point, mo all of my doctors are like, for your me pain medication, just do weed, just do edibles when you can. Um, because I was taking so much Advil that my doctor is like, it is so much, like, I do not care any of the negative effects that could possibly be with, like, vaping or whatever. Um, it is so much healthier than what you're currently doing with Advil. It'd be the first time you've traveled for a doc. Um, earlier you're planning to take a trip to Boston overnight with your mom and her meds. She gets a PET scan later this month. I am currently in the process of getting scheduled for a PET scan. Um, just because my blood test came back and I either have an undiagnosed autoimmune disorder or cancer. <laughs> Both of which I'm like, eh, <laughs> what's new? <laughs> yeah, Br uh, Brigham and Women's, uh, absolutely fantastic hospital network. I've been, almost all of my doctors that I have seen in this network, uh, I absolutely adore. Yeah, she's got an autoimmune disease called. Oh, my mom has that. I believe that's what my mom has. Oh, is this the memory? Yes, memory statues, which we have explored all the memory statues. Yeah, I believe that is what indeed what my mom has. I have. I would have to double check with her. But that. So my mom is very laissez-faire about her uh, health, unfortunately. Like, she has a lot of the same symptoms I does, I do, and just doesn't bother to look at it. Like, she vomited, vomits, like, every day. And she's just like, eh, it's life. Mom, mom, you could get help, you could get a tornado coming. It looks like that tornado is coming. So I'm just gonna sit here while I wait for this tornado come and yeet this island up. And that's where um, my current doctor thinks that my um, Eller Stanlos came from is from my mom's side. Though there's some evidence on my dad's side as well, so. Who knows? Your mom sounds a lot like you about stuff like that. Though you don't have issues that bad. I love my mom, and she was at least good and talked with her cardiologist about my diagnosis, um, and he is keeping an eye on it, because uh, it can affect your heart. And so he's like, yeah, we'll keep an eye out. Um, I have a friend on speed dial who specializes in um, cardiology within patients with Ehlers-Danlos, so I'm like, oh. That is super convenient. Excellent. Which freaks you out because apparently it runs in mother-daughter pairs. That would make sense. Interesting. I didn't actually know that. Oh, I can't. I can't, but I can swim, maybe. 
Maybe? Can I swim? Is swimming a thing that I can do? Yes. Good. Yeah, mom doesn't allow support groups for it. Oh. Like, I'm in one support group for EDS on Reddit. Um, and for the... And I know my mom's not in any support groups for any of her stuff, so... Um, the sarco... I can't even pronounce it. Sarcoidosis. I think that's how it's pronounced. You're in that subreddit too, as well as a few for Chronicle. Yeah. I'm, I'm also part of the Fibro. I am part of the... Um, gastroparesis, even though I don't technically have gastroparesis, my symptoms are close enough that getting support groups, finding ways for different nutrition um, is really helpful. So I don't think I've been... <gasps> There's a jellyfish! Oh! Oh! Have we solved it? Oh. Mr. Frozen Jellyfish, can I use... Oh, those are ghost matter. Um... I don't see any there. So I'm safe to go here. Um, nope. There's danger there. Safe here. Back at me. Yep. Oh no, do I have to do a jump? Should be safe. I'm going around the other side. That's all safe. Okay. Sarcoidosis. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Dan. Doom. Way. Oh, I just got turned around. Ships that way, so I want to go this way. Mr. Frozen Jellyfish, can I use you... Um, do I have consent to use your flesh to get to the center of this, uh, planet? Oh, there are so many, so much ghost matter. Okay, so it's in the middle of a hazard there. A hazard here? No, safe here. Uh, oh, this way. Nope. Axel left the window for banning. But okay, now I can see chat. So. Oh, that got turned upside down. Real hard. Uh, okay, so it looks like all around is safe. Just not on that side. What about to that tree is open. Oh, I'm gonna be very upsetty. Oh, someone camped here. Play recording. Trip and trip four entry number whatever. Crashes two. Orbing crashes zero. Remember to see sleep when I get back. Aha! Yeah! Yeah! All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Uh, I can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gosen about this one. I guess for once isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Hopefully, uh, the problem is, is I think 
my ship. Okay, my ship is coming back down. Good. Um, let's move over this way. Let's go up. Okay, cool. That could have gone a lot worse. die if you get smashed by the island into the water. I believe you do. If the island lands on you, I believe you die. I think I actually died that way once. It was very sad. Gravity, why are you so heavy? And also very fluctuating. Oh, I can't get back to my ship. There has to be a way. Probably one of these vines I can use. Many crisps. So I'm trying. Probably not this one. Was well, there anything like? Do I actually have to go like down in here and take a look? Seeing if there's also a opening in the ice. Can I not dive down? No, it's just for the lowest I can go. Oh no, not another tornado. This would be the worst time to get sucked in by a tornado. No, okay, it's just the current. Many crisps. Probably something I don't already know, game. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Um, the problem is, is this doesn't go to my ship. I might be able to get to there. Because the unfortunate thing is, my ship landed at a very awkward spot and didn't land where I originally put it. It has a fucking tornado. Um, I might be able to make that jump. Go a little bit further down this cave and see if I can get it better. No, oh, there is, it is that jump. It wants me to make that jump apparently. Eh, oh yeah. Now, um, how do I get to my ship? I can't go that way because that's all ghost matter. 
Watch it. I'm gonna get right to almost getting to my ship, and then die at Ghost Manor, or die to another. Or another uh, tornado comes. I think there's about to be another tornado. Yep. Well, I guess I can use being in space. I cannot slow myself. You know, you're so unhelpful. I'm almost... Oh, is my ship... Oh. Um... Oh wait, nope, it's coming back down. Oh, please come back down somewhere that is not that island. Oh, that would be so convenient. Oh no, it's just the entire thing. Why did I land so much faster? Yeah, I know there's only f so much fuel remaining. Are you in a better spot to get at? No, no you're not. I just want to get back to you so I can take a look at what I might need to do. I, like, I landed over here, but my ship's over there, and it's... Mm. Like, I could just die to Ghost Matter and restart. That just... It seems like such a waste. But I don't know how much time has passed. I should start keeping a timer. Yes, but it can give me a better idea. So even if it pauses while I read, um, it can give me a better idea of a rough estimate. Ah, eh. oh, yeah! Finally! Okay. I just wanted to get to here. Bramble Island. Yeah, right. An island in 30 vines of what appears to be frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Yes, but how do I use it to get to the ocean dust? I'm gonna go and read his thing again. Slide me off, please. Oh, I'm. We're at the minute mark. Okay, well. Since we're about to die anyway. Oh, of course I entered the. There we go. We're just gonna end it before this, the Psycho Supernova. Speedrun strats! Timer. Pause. Timer. Clock. Stopwatch. So. Okay. We're gonna head back there. 
Because I know it's using those jellyfish somehow. It's just figuring out how to fucking use those. Use them. I wonder if we can go back to Feldspar and be like, Hey, motherfucker. How did you use those fucking jellyfish, mate? Like, where is Feldspar? Wild Ventures, Quantum, Distress Beacon, Hide and Seek. I think he was last- oh, was he the one that was lost in Dark Bramble? Where are you, Dark Bramble? That's Gabbro. He's the one who remembers- who also remembers the- Ryback. Esker. Where's Dark Bramble? We're gonna head back to him real quick. What a way. I just wanna talk to him real quick. Because I know we're close. game that is a trip and a lot to explain. Um, the quick synopsis is we have 22 minutes until the world until the sun goes supernova. We live in a groundhog's day where it keeps repeating and we have to figure out uh, why it's happening and how to stop it. And like quantum mechanics is involved and um, black and white holes and just really interesting fun stuff. At least I find it interesting and fun. Like, if you want, like, a really deep enriched, like, puzzle game, I highly recommend this game. Like, if you bought the game on sale and haven't played it yet, I highly recommend it. It is probably up there, like, Mass Effect and Portal will def are going to be, like, top up there in my heart, but this game is incredible. to play the game without knowing anything about it, though. Yes, very true. Like, I went into this game very blind, um, blind. Just basically knowing, um, the world supernovas in 22 minutes, uh, and it's a groundhog day. And here we are on loop, uh, 80. We're upside down. I don't want to be upside down. I mean, I guess this is a choice. Let's not wait. Hey, you! I have questions for you. 
Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's been here, and well, yeah. Um. Yes, anglerfish. We've read all of this already. I found something. I found the. So the old thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know. It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Um, you reached the core. Giant steep core, huh? Ah, uh, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of- oh, come on, no, I know it uses the jellyfish! On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. Yeah, I know it's the jellyfish. I know it's the jellyfish. I just want to know how you used it, you motherfucker. Uh, I'm gonna just... Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Ah, uh, well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, hatchling? But, 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 how... How... Mm. Actually, never mind. Yeah, you don't have any... You... Motherfucker. Sir. Unhelpful! Uh, where's my ship? So should I leave? Um, if you want to play blind, probably. We are pretty far into the game. So. Like, if you really want to play it, as much as I love your company. Yeah. Oh, also, the new event started today in Overwatch. Uh, maybe come po- and I- today is Tuesday? Today's a Tuesday, right? I hope if you're selling your same schedule, that means you have tonight off. Uh, so if you want to play some Overwatch later, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, know what I mean, know what I mean? Hit me up. You're playing it now? Uh, I want to play. Oh my god, so I didn't realize you'd gone live, you were playing Among Us? Well, welcome! Um, so after you went to bed, we did in fact make it get to the Quantum Moon, uh, and did that whole thing. Uh, now, I am trying to figure out how to use the Falcon Jellyfish to get to the center of Giant's Deep. You know what, I am just probably gonna suicide. I want the full time to be able to... Um, okay, where is an anglerfish? Or, or, other, other, um, just go super fast and slam into a wall. Oh, nope, that apparently was not fast enough. Oh, actually, other thing that'll probably be faster. Turn suit. And, uh, yeet! Space to Puku. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I do have a theory on this whole memory thing. Because when we died on the quantum moon, it was a definitely a very different kind of death. Uh, stop. Because the way that the um, edges of revision got eaten, I actually think the memory thing um, registered the fact that it was indeed uh, a supernova, but we were in a place that it wasn't necessarily going to possibly kill us. So I think it killed us in order to be able to send all the memories back before the supernova happened. That's my guess. Wow, just gonna be per character like that? I, I mean, we've already died 80 times. What's one more to suffocation? Oh, 
Whoop. Okay, we are going back to Fancy. Should be able to autopilot easily. How was it? It was really interesting. Like, definitely the puzzle uh, once you got there with the shrine and making sure it was on the North Pole and picking the correct world in order to walk so you could get to the North Pole and then talking to um, our best friend forever. Except her name is now escaping me and I feel horrible. But still did not answer any new questions. Like a lot of the information she told us we kinda already knew or had inferred. Solanum, thank you. Our best friend forever, Solanum. She was so sweet and cute. Oh, how did you... Um, I would like to enter Giant's Team, please. Thanks. Okay, now we need to find the Vine Island again. my ship won't get stuck in an area that I can't access. Yeah, 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 ghost manor. Yeah, more smiling man. things, you'll go overwatch. Please. Yes! I'm excited to play it later. <laughs> but thanks for popping in. And probably by the time you play this, you won't remember anything of what I just said. Let me smash. Please. <laughs> Ah, uh, if only. One good thing about being fully vaccinated, uh, I might actually be able to have some sort of social and, uh, other type of life back. Okay. Is there a way to enter and get access? So I mean, there's a part of it hanging out there. And the store jellyfish. How? I can light the campfire? Oh, I can roast more marshmallows. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, wait. Does it melt the ice? Question mark? That would be convenient. Oh, look, it's, it's like it's noodly appendage. Reaching out to touch. Uh, Jetpack. Why not? Let's re listen to you. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Other life, you mean? Yes. Mm. Congrats on getting your first shot! That's super exciting! Yeah, I am fully vaccinated. My doctor is really <laughs> able to help. Calibrations are, they are very suggestive. I mean, Garrus can calibrate me anytime he wants. Mm. You're so conquerors, you just got feldspar. It's one of our dramatic spices, so I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. But you still were not helpful. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna dance every single time that the other one's chosen. I guess you know your next cosplay. 
there is an amazing Garrus cosplayer that I follow on Instagram. Oh, his cosplay is amazing. spicy. Okay, we're gonna head back to the ship. Oh, can I get back to the ship? Another question. Like, I know I could probably jump into the water, but I'm wondering if there's another way. I think this is all danger. Yeah. Hmm. See, that's what I was looking for, but you didn't know it was a bits thing. Yeah. That's okay, I'm sure there's plenty of people who are more than happy to play it true. Yep. Okay, we're gonna try to get on top of all of this. See if there's uh, something. Not Super really easy, something. barely an inconvenience. <laughs> You're off to head home, catch it. You know, yep, have a safe uh, ride home. I'll talk with you when you get home. Oh, you touched my tie, la la. See? Mm, my ding ding dong. Ask, and it is delivered. I don't see anything uh, about underneath. Like, I did. jellyfishes. I need your assistance. Yeah, because those are all... What if I get on top of it and try to push through it on top? This is going to be fun. Oh, no. Because what if I, like, tr attempt to land on one and go down? Will that work? Uh, I want to... Answer? No, that is not it. Electrical system's damaged. So even the tops are damaging. Unfortunate. I need to go out and repair. And I know they electrocute me too, because I've already attempted. Where is the electrical systems that I need to fix? Ah, there you are. So it's not bad. Is it something me? Are there any jellyfishes that are dead around? That one is very much alive. It's a bunch. Are there any 
entering and coming out. Jellyfish says. Mm, that was weird. I'm just gonna watch when the jellyfish enter through it. What am I hearing? I have a concern. Ooh, that was too close. has told me is that the jellyfish are really good insulators and they do not taste good and that that is enough of a hint to be able to get into the center pain in my butt sir yeah I have how I still have my scout there so I can see where that thing is yeah it doesn't tell yeah and that's where I am I think a little stuck I'm not asking for help yet the other thing I can think of is maybe they seem to be weak to freezing, but I don't really have anything to freeze one. Touching them with either my ship or myself will shut down our power. I get electrocuted. jellyfish that has, looks like it's about to enter. I don't know what the really intense red is. Okay. Nope. I'm... Nope. Which way are you going? Which way are you going, boy? doing jellyfish things. I mean, that is a mood. You are part of the way in. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. Nope, not safe. I'll back out. Just jelly vibes. <laughs> oh, 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 I am going in the opposite direction I want to go from my ship. And yeah. Ship, come back, please. My ship is getting further away. This is oh no, is it going up above the ship? No. 
Okay, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, okay. okay. I still think we're below the current. wood but probably floats but makes sense but also if it's wood it really wouldn't uh, be a conductor of electricity very well oop hi jelly like it looks like it should be safe on top of it but it's not lies to me. I'm gonna have to be repairing my ship probably pretty frequently. Oh no! Did both me and my ship get pulled up? Yeah, it looks like it did. Oh, it's right on the edge. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Stop. I just want to fix my ship. Not be able to fix it. Because it's now above the water. Actually, do I have enough control to move it a little bit? I know I don't have a lot of control, but if I can just move it. Yes, I do. Okay. So if it's here, it should be low enough for me to access. I just hope a. Oh no. Please, tornado, please don't play. I don't want to play right now. So this is the most annoying part. Oh yeah, there is a... In fact, a tornado. Have you taken my ship? Nope, just taken me. A new world. Okay, I want to go back. Good boy! Aye! We gonna die? No, I think we will survive. As long as I am smart and land... Oh, I'm in the middle of a... See, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Nothing to worry about, except I still can't like, get on top. Oh, okay, we're gonna enter, we're gonna try to at least rotate the ship. The electrical stuff is at least accessible. Glycine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein, we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups, you'll find serine and threonine. Oh, or sulfur, leucocysteine, or two methionine. For bases, you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein, we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids. I do want to switch it to and also his other song. It's just trying to find a good clean version of it. It's been really difficult. Yes, there are a bunch. Um, a lot of them are from the Citadel DLC. And that's why they're oftentimes more of a cleaner version than the Scientist Solarian. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was a little bit of a bitch. Okay. Buckle up. Where is my scout now? Question mark. Okay, we need to find a hurricane that will set us down. You go up. is the correct one. I'm just trying to remember which one. Yeah. 
actually think it's this one. Well, one way to find out. Yeah. Did my scout actually get pushed down? Or is it still above? Nope, still above. Still above. So that was another thing I wondered is if it actually ever got pushed down. It just got absolutely destroyed. Maybe I wouldn't have failed chemistry if you knew. Oh, yeah, because he actually <laughs> he actually goes through all of the amino acids, which is cool. Oh, where are you? Oh, you're just oh, you just connect to that island. Um, what happens if I try to shoot a jellyfish? got sent away. Oh. Well, it's about to end. We have a minute. So the signal is just a minute left. We're gonna pause things real quick and uh, do a ship plug. Just pretty little music for dying, I know. It's the end of the world as we know it. Bramble Island, frozen jellyfish. I do like that once it gets to this point, there is no way to pause it. Once that music starts, you will it um any things for pausing completely turned off. You are just gonna die in a minute. That is the end. Steps. have a way to give a clue for this that wouldn't necessarily be completely giving it away? Because I feel like it's going to be super obvious. I'm going to hate myself once I figure it out. Sparrow's gotten to the center. If trying them from the top doesn't work, then. But I. So, what I know about jellyfish, their tendrils are uh, rather spicy. That's usually where their pain is from. You have an idea about touching the jellyfish wrong. Okay, so. Uh, these are space jellyfish and are exact opposite of real world jellyfish. Got it.
You're just a little too emotionally invested in jellyfish. Really, I didn't know that. Just get video game five, fair. Because normally the tendrils are what contain all the uh, stingers and toxins that then bring everything into the jellyfish mouth. These jellyfish, instead of doing a toxin, did an electricity. Appar Apparently, logic does not apply to these jellyfish. All of these are going the same way. Shit. None of these are the one I need. Oh, wait. No. But this one? Nope. I'm trying to figure out which one is the one I need. Because yeah, these are going opposite ways. I think it's this one. Yes. It haunts me to this day because the teacher intent. Um, we took zoology in high school and we had to design our own creatures based off of a handful of taxological traits. Your creature was a jellyfish that defied classification. It haunts you to this day because this teacher intentionally gave you harder puzzles. She did each class I had her for. Since when did you need logic for- I mean, it's logic was how that I figured out the puzzle for the quantum moon. Without having to be told some of it. Including forensics, she gave you a crime to solve with no suspects that matched what you needed. Oof. So, uh, a teacher who realized that you who wanted to challenge you, who rec recognized that you had talent, uh, but I know that sometimes can be annoying. Okay, jellyfish. Who am I going to enter via the bottom of the jellyfish? I'm wondering if it's a case that I have to get under one as it's going down. Oh yeah, she's still one of your favorite teachers. That's good. going up. Are you going down? Yes. I feel lied to. But those tentacles definitely do also spark. You're innocent, you're just a jellyfish fan. You have an idea of how to interact with them wrong. Do I have to? There was one section that wasn't electrified that I I had to insert myself into. I hope that it's going down. Like I hear electricity, so I'm guessing I'm going the right way. Sweet. Don't get me. Well, considering I'm in the very center of it, I think technically. So if I exit down now, I should be in. Oh, it is very dark. Oh, um, I. What speed am I going? Ooh. 
I have no light. Um, oh, scout. Oh. So this must be the thing that has the memories in it. But I was right. Uh, something super simple that I feel really dumb about. Oh, 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 oh. Not quite what I wanted to do, but I guess that's why we're doing this one. Now let's read everything first. So we have one for the Ashwin project. We have one. The, the launch module. Yes. We want to know where this is. Wait, is the launch one no, we, or the probe tracker the one we want? Imagine the probe tracker model will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I think you would have gotten there eventually even if it was counterintuitive to what people know about jellies. Yeah. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital pro cannon to use so much power it breaks, will you? Nope, they do. Very slightly. So we have read that before. Let's see where it is. Right, we've been here. Been here. Trash projection stone. I think we've seen that already as well. I'm still super curious who the third person who remembers stuff is. There's three active. I know of two. Me and Gabro. Not necessarily. Oh, and here's the third one that has its eyes open. So who was here? It's not Feldspar. He didn't say that he remembers everything. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. We've done one of you similar already. Oh, no, come back here. Sir. That's the orbital or the sun station. Oh, this is new. Receiving data from probe 9,318,137. Nine Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Oh, is this where? Oh. Oh, is this? Oh, oh, nope, nope, no. Grumble, 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 grumble. 
Stop. Where did you go? All the way at the end. Okay. I guess we'll look at this first. Uh... Hello? Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Oh, we have... We have coordinates. Cool. Um, I don't... It's fine, people get stumped at all points in this game, like people who took five minutes to figure out- took ages to figure out the Black Hole Forge. Like, yeah, I- that took a little bit on us, too. pop out and give me information, like everything else, you know? Okay. Well, we now have coordinates, um... Oh, Jesus. Uh... There we go, I just had to wait. Retrieving pro previous launch data from Ash? Oh, I think I know what's happening. We've been in a loop for a long time. It's just we've only been aware of the past 81 loops when we joined in. Whether the third person is constantly reloading to try to get the correct coordinates, is that what's happening? Is that's what's happening? Total number of pro launches, 9,318,137. So there's one Namai who is still, we were, we just weren't aware of it because the project wasn't set to activate until the eye was found. The loop has been going on for a very long, yeah. A very, very long time. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9,318,154. So there's one, so there's an Amai who has been stuck in a long ass loop. But because they found it, it causes the end of the universe, or the, the sun to go supernova. Um. Okay. I am guessing that living the Mai is at the um can I not how do I exit? Not like that apparently. There we go. Um I don't know if there's any more to find here. Is there So we have the coordinates. What now? Maybe give it one more check? Okay. okay. So this is going to be going for about 390 years worth of 22 minute loops. And they've never been able to solve the sun going supernova? All of those. Is there any? This just gave the coordinates for the center of the universe. Well, the actual loop's about a day in game, I think. Um, it well, okay. So a day is very subjective based on what planet you're on. We've read all of those. That one. Excuse me, come back. Ball. I did not say you could go that way. We're going on a trip this way. Ship hull breach detected. What? My ship? Or a different ship? Questions. Where is my ship? I'm not expecting to be going back to my ship in this. Yep. 
up, so we like those. Go ahead, buy a trim new. Yeah. One hour equals one minute. Goal here, the goal is to find the eye which they did. Yes, but what's the use of finding the eye if you then immediately die? Yeah, and there's nothing on this, so let's check. Switch. So maybe if we go back and look at the Ash Twin. Look at Launch Manual, we've looked at Ash Twin Projection Stone. Which is in the center of this. Like, I do think this is somewhere around here. because this is just at the remnants of the launcher, which we've been here. We have all the looks like we have all the data for in here. We've are, we've looked at both of those on that screen already. Okay, I think we're done in here. I'm gonna now search the rest of the area because I do think their memory vault somewhere in the center, surrounded by stuff we can't enter. And there's only one entrance, and I think it's a teleporter. But, let's explore a bit more. much more to explore in this area. Um, let's go. Okay, so this one unknown is outside. there. Okay. And that's probably one of the clues for getting to the quantum moon, which we don't really need at this point. So we have the coordinates. My guess is that we're going to be needing those, using those coordinates um, and using them with the vessel, and we need to replace the drive core of the vessel. And then get ourselves there. Don't 
see anything else to explore down here. Like, I don't know if there's something in this that's supposed to be in the center here, but we if there is, we cannot access it. It's like dark vision makes it. Yeah, basically, I'm, I'm spending the rest of this loop exploring the center, making sure I don't miss anything, and then we'll go from there. That's it. Oh, it's 8:30. Outside to look at. I think there. You didn't see a teleporter or anything in it, or even anything to. Goldfish. But even is this tree anyway? Like I, th it looks to be like the center. It's the center of the planet. This box. Oh, I might just die to not having oxygen. Like, it looks like it's just how the center of this planet formed. Because I mean, like, why is there a black hole in the middle of the other one? Uh, why is Dark Bramble the way it is? I'm not sure if we ever really fully get answers to that. Yep, and there's the a minute warning, which I might die to no oxygen before that happens anyway. Okay. So after this break, or uh, after this death, we're gonna take a quick bio break. And then be back. Now we have coordinates. Uh, we have taken a look at the center of the quantum, um, not the center, but we've looked at the quantum moon. Now it's like it's just the Ash Twin Project, which involves one of the teleporters that is currently, I think, being blocked by cactuses, so we have to figure out how to get by the cactus. And maybe that involves going at a particular time when the sand is there, try to avoid the majority of them. That's gonna be my guess for that. I am ready for death. Oh, I hear it a-coming. Seconds of oxygen remaining. That's okay. Uh, I don't have to worry about oxygen death. And I'd have to say that dying to a supernova is probably a pretty painless death. And that is loop 82 complete. But now knowing that uh, this has been looping for a long fucking time, good to know. You sure you don't think you're alive for the brief second you get burned? Um, the thing is, it happened so quickly, I don't think your brain has even has time to process the fact that you are uh, dead, that you are being burned. Because the speed that it would actually be going is pretty large. But anyway, bathroom break real quick. My bladder is screaming at me. <laughs> so be right back, everyone.
and we're back. Okay, so let's go look at our ship log. Our launch codes. New ship log. I love all of that just to get more information in the probe tracking module. Oh, there, it does say there is more to explore here. What? I thought I checked that pretty... Yeah. Well, I think there's more on that planet. Ashwin Project. Am I planting destructive knowledge cable producing 2020? 22 minute negative time interval in Ash Twin. Every memory record by my session is tremendous. An Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Oh, so I'm probably going to need to steal that warp core from the center of Ash Twin. So we still need to get to Sun Station, which I know is probably a teleporter from Ash, tw the Ash Twin Towers. Hmm. I know there's more on the vessel. More on the simplicity. Uh is there? Because there is one cave that we didn't actually manage to get to. But I was trying to. Okay, what should we go for next? I mean we could try doing more with the Ash Twin project. I do, okay, I'm gonna go back to those towers because I want to see some. See if we're on the equator or not. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, we are. Crap. <laughs> Let us move slightly. Up. Just because I don't want my ship to be sent to. Should be hopefully a safe spot. Yes. are going to start appearing along the equator. moved my ship enough. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, there's one of them. And we're back. You went away for 
for a second. Well, welcome back. I just kind of looked at the information on the ship log and now checking out the tower that I'm probably going to use to get to. Um, Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Oh, welcome back. I hope your trip went well. That it was uh, painless. It was a glorious bike ride. Yeah, I can definitely see it getting nicer and nicer um, as the weather gets better. Get ready to move quick. Okay. Look, well, we're talking about. I don't remember the location or the teleporter to Ash. It's somewhere along the equator when it appears. Oh. Oh, right, I'm going to fuel a lot. So I did position my ship, at least temporarily, in a safe spot. I'll just walk it for a bit. Oh, you thought that was gonna end badly? I'm I'm pretty good at at least avoiding it a little bit. Let's see this one. Oh, I don't remember. I should have like made a diagram. But this one does look like it's the one with all of the. Oh uh uh oh! I so called it. Oops. Fine. We're fine. Uh, wait. So I was right. I just need to come here at a very particular time. Ha 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 ha. Is there anything to look at before I do look like you should be a let's open the door. Do you look like you should be something that I can interact with, but uh I wonder if it doesn't have power. Well, we'll find out in a minute. place. I do not know where we are, but we are in a place now. Welcome. Oh, I really hope I get oxygen soon. Um, I'm just gonna open this and hope that there's oxygen on the other side. Oh, I should have read that. Oh, we're at the sun. Ooh. Uh, 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Jesus! Woo! Welcome to the sun station! Six minutes, 45 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Well, that would have been right around when the thing shot off. Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. Um... Do I just jump? I have a feeling this will end terrible. Oh, I am. Please, please, please. A, 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 A. Match velocity. Match velocity. Match velocity. Match velocity. Match. Stop. Okay. Oh, you're spinning. Oh, we're spinning. So disoriented. In, in, in. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now what? Well, zero gravity, so at least you don't need to worry about falling. No, but I need to worry about spinning. Please do not fly into the sun as you will burn and die, and I'll slap my face. Sorry, it'll cause an earthquake. <laughs> well, luckily, I saved us from an earthquake. Ooh, this place is fucking cool. Good day. Hi. 
mission. Science compels us to explode the sun? Um, um, excuse me, what? <laughs> Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. I know! Why? <laughs> but it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission? What? Bye, how could you? Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Well, obviously it's possible. Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Answer, yes. Yes, it is, apparently. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Yep. Pi, uh, scientific ethics apparently does not have. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does it. Idea. Ship blog updated. Pi is a lunatic. I hope one of you is Pi. Looks like we've gotten everything here. What was down here? A big hole into the sun. Okay, we're gonna go up first in the direction that is opposite of the explosions. Oh, oxygen, fantastic. Um, he does not have his eyes open, so he didn't get triggered by someone. God, the music is fucking loud. Hold on. I'm just gonna turn the game audio down a bit. Actually, can I just turn the music down? Input graphics, text audio, music volume. Yes. Okay, I can then return this back up. Okay. Resume. Yeah, it's a, a little better. Uh, do we have any Nothing down here. Ugh. Ugh. Approximus time and cell sensation is destroyed by expanding star. Two minutes, 24 seconds. Our approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes, 54 seconds. Oh, lovely. Star has reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Gotta move fast. I am so glad I have things paused when I read. Um, okay, is there anything? We have this. Uh, I have... I've seen this one, I think, though. Right? Yes, I've seen this one. Don't need. It's gonna yeet you. And that's just gonna tell me the same thing, I think. Um, Eye of Imbalancing of the Star. That's an interesting mural. This is where we entered. Shit. Got turned around. Little, little hops. Um, where's the other doorway? I thought there was another doorway. Was I imagining it? Sorry, I panicked. Is there nothing else here? I'll pick this up and I'll retry this, but... station it fired here but it failed sun barely responded oh so this is new um okay what happened the sun station not fire it fired here but it failed the sun barely responded there was infinitesimally small surface level changes but they were barely visible even to the third eye the sun station is useless it will never and could never cause the sun to explode i don't know what comes next my friends i suppose we must start over but i'm unsure how to start over Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Hi. I, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? 
For a while, Yara, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with the exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I hoped our terrible work was finished. So it didn't work. But it certainly seems like it worked. Um, okay, so I don't see really anything else. These are like the firing arms. Yeah, we're probably gonna die on this station. But. There's nothing. Like, that's a really cool mural. Mural. That one never activated. Might not have worked right away or by itself. Or, if, depending on when this, uh, the, the loops got timed, if this keeps firing every loop, while yes, some things aren't the same, or th some things don't um, necessarily... I wonder... we die with a front row seat. Well, we, we die early because the ship actually disintegrates. Yeah, but if it's firing on a loop, that results would be the same, wouldn't they? Theoretically. Hmm. <gasps> Let's see what our ship log says. Nope. Uh, stop. Reset. Start. I now have a timer going so I can keep an estimated time of when I can expect the sun to go boom. Okay, so it does look like we did find everything because it's not saying that there's more to find. You entry. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Namai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Namai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to the Namai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Oh, so it's going supernova... It's going supernova normally? Like, it, huh. Hmm. Structure channel, I hear the little in between. My memory was fun. Maybe this sped up is sped up its time, and that's what the sun station did by accident. Yeah, because the computer is saying that it's reaching it naturally. It could be that it sped it up a little bit. Yeah, like there's apparently more to explore here. I'm tempted to go back and make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, we've already explored. Where is it? The ruptured core. It doesn't look like there's anything. It, it, they determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. The exotic matter would be expanding with completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the noise to reunite the other, the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Namai. Yeah, I think this explosion is what killed all of the Namai. However, most of them might, I shouldn't say. It's over 200,000 years old, yeah. Um, hmm. Like the Ash Twin Project is the big one that is still left. I have feeling. So that's probably where we're gonna be getting 
the core to use. We just now need to find a way inside. There has to be a teleport there. Where would the teleport be from? What's the plan, Action Man? That's what I'm tr trying to decide. Like, at this point, we need to get to inside the Ash Twin Project. Just like your new sleep med, which was actually your old anxiety med, but at four times the dose. We shall see how this goes. An adventure, if you will. Okay, so we need... I need to remember where the teleport... Where I would potentially find the teleport for the Ash Twin Project. Volcanic testing site we found inside the moon around... Black hole planet. And in my minds. What's a shovel? Or, like, theoretically, this could have a teleporter somewhere to it. I didn't see any teleport. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Actually, a few entries. My energy. The Sun of the City still has stuff there, like Bed Cave. I'm not sure how much it's gonna have. Like, that cave that is currently being shown on the screen is the one that I was trying to get to, but it for some reason wasn't letting me go there. So theoretically, we could try get more information there and try to get more maybe even more information in the Sunless City. Because it could be that there's a teleporter to this from the Sunless City to the Ashwin project. Solar system. Um, sun station we found looks like pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, so it's saying it's on Ashwin Towers. The thing is, is I don't think the teleporter would be on Ash Twin because there's no way for it to line up with the center of mass in any way to teleport there, so it has to be somewhere else. I'm just reviewing everything that we have learned. We have learned a lot. There is a lot of information, so it's making sure uh, the tornado simulator, yep, Tower of Quantum Knowledge and the Quantum Shard was for the Quantum Moon, the Hanging City. We brought, we lowered the Black Hole Forge and we got to it. Travel to the solar system and receive a signal from. We're gonna head to bed now. I don't know how long it's gonna be until we complete the game, but I sure hope you're there for it. Um, I am not going to be able to stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is our community Among Us night. Um, so if you actually, since you said that you were playing Among Us, if you would like to join in, you're more than welcome. Um, we do it on my Discord, which was actually linked just above your comment. Um, so you're more than welcome to join for that. Thursday, I, it would be my normal stre um, next stream day. Unfortunately, uh, I am on a board for a anime convention and we have a uh, a surprise board meeting on Thursday so unfortunately I'm not gonna do that so I'm but I'm debating on if I'm not finished because I'm probably not gonna finish it tonight because I only have about another 15 minutes of stream um because I really want to finish this game so I'm thinking of doing it on Friday case welcome yeah so I I'm debating so I'll probably be back on f either Friday or Saturday I'll post it in my discord um because I really, like, I am loving this game. I want to finish this game. It is, it's been so good. I'm a big Portal fan, so. <laughs> but yeah, so we're Sarcasm probably not test complete. <laughs> Yee. So, but again, welcome for joining in. Thank you very much for the hint for the stupid, stupid jellyfish. <laughs> but, and have a good slept 
again, I'll post on Discord and on all my social medias. So if you, even if you don't want to join the Discord, um, I do have a Twitter that I'll post um, when I'm going to be streaming, um, as well as like Instagram posts and shit like that. But but welcome. It's definitely been fun. Do not insult the jellies. It's not their fault. The game devs are dumb. <laughs> true. True. Very true. I, I don't want to disparage the jellyfish for just existing. They are just vibing. Imagine if the game had a space core and Wheatley Easter egg. Oh, jeez. I would lose my shit, to be honest. Just flying around as they go floating by. I would a lot. I, if I ever encounter that, I would lose my shit. Because again, like Portal, the Portal series and the Mass Effect series are near and dear to my heart. Obviously, I seem to have a thing for like sci-fi space games. <laughs> but yeah, I would have lost my shit if they ever if they had an Easter egg like that. <laughs> uh, my... We found all of the escape pods. Old settlement, all of the murals. Almost time for the remaster. I think there's 40 days to go or something. Yep. Bye, Edward! Yes, I am excited for the remaster. I am not, as I've said before, I'm not going to be streaming it because it's, it's going to be very, very similar to the modded playthrough that we did. Seven years, thanks! Yeah, I had another set of years on originally and then someone paid for it to switch. Also, I still have my timer going even though I'm in this pause menu. Um, we're just going to stop and reset that. We are getting close to the end of this game. Um, very, very close. I'm just trying to figure out where we need to go next. It's the quantum signal. I think that just has to do with the quantum moon, though, which we already solved. Coral. Oh, it's a coral forest. That's what the tree things are. It's coral. Interesting. Oh, dark bramble. The vessel. Like... We could head back to the vessel, see if there's anything else new, especially with the information we now have. I think that's what we're gonna do on this run. I'm gonna head back to the vessel. There might be something that we can now do with uh, coordinates that we have. Random, dealer's choice. Uh, we're gonna go with... Now, now I'm looking at my ears and I'm like, which ones do I wanna wear? Because I wore those last yesterday. Oh, oh, I love these. We're gonna go with my Queen of Hearts ears. How am I feeling? I feel pretty good! Like, the stream has been going really well. Uh, we've made a lot of progress, um, though I got a little bit frustrated on jellyfish. Of all things! Yeah, so we're gonna head back to... Um, the vessel, which was gonna mean sneaking by some anglerfish. Back to Dark Bramble we go. Oh, we're gonna have to do some self positioning, otherwise, the autopilot is gonna just yeet us into the sun, and I would really like to avoid that. Take a drink, take a hit. All right, I have to turn the fucking thing on. How do I feel ending this game soon? Bittersweet. Like, I'm excited to see the end, but I've been really enjoying the game and sad it's gonna be over. Have you considered what game you're gonna play when this one is done? Um, so when I finish this game, I'm actually gonna take a week break. Um, this is, there's been a lot happening uh, this first half of the year, and just want a little break, recalibrate, and I'll probably, what I'm thinking I'm planning on doing is I'm going to play Outer Worlds, which is basically a combination of Fallout and uh, Mass Effect, which seems right up my alley as well. to equip the signal scope or stress beacon. I need... God, 
it. I forget. Oh crap. How did I get to it? I think I thought, did I follow the red light? I don't even remember how I got there. Hide and seek, outer wilds, quantum fluctuations. Was it the escape pod? No, it wasn't the escape pod. Oh, but I got to the, it, if I go to the escape pod, I can find the route because they lit it. That's how it was. Okay. Down a bit. How was your stream case? Like, I'm glad I was able to catch part of it. And I felt so. Oh, apparently I just damaged something of my shit. Oh, I should. Uh, I don't know what. Headlights damage, landing gear damage. Ah, oh, that's fine. Come on. Ooh, 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 shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Okay, I got away from that jellyfish. Actually, this is a good time to actually get out and fix the... Oh. Uh, Cause while they're not super important, it's good that... Uh, uh, stop. Yeah, but I was glad I was able to catch some of your stream. And how did you like the new event? I don't know how much you've played of the event previously. I feel like Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes would be a fun game. I love that game. I would play that. Um, me and Brian would play it a ton. I actually introduced my parents to it. Like, like. Let me fix you. And that is a ton of fun. Where we could probably do a way to set up because we do it, um, you can play it in VR. And in VR, it is insane. You have yet to try it, but it's on your wish. Yeah, once, uh, we start being able to have uh, meetups again. Ooh, forgot to do that. That's fine. Oh, Oops, just good. You remember that game? Yes. It's such a good game. That. There they are. Follow these. And then we have to fire our thing in the sun. All the dead Namai. Poor dead Namai. They almost made it. Our good friend Scout. And then sad music for poor, poor dead Namai. Oh no, please. 
please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. slowly. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Ah, uh, ye calibrations. I don't still hear some. And they're blind. So theoretically, if I move slightly, that direction. Turn on my engines a bit and then stop. There is the entrance. Can we get a little bit closer? Gorgeous, gorgeous light. Sorry, Namai. God, how insane is the one that we're gonna um, come across? How insane is he gonna be? If he's been looping that long, he's. Oh, I can't open any of these. They're going to be pie levels of insane. Probably. Okay, so how do I play, do I play around with this? Yep. What are you? Chip oh, so this was the other thing that I found that I needed to find, apparently. I don't know what you are. Oh, you are you have a ball though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Um I think I know what this is. I need to write down what the, the uh ordinates for the center of the universe are. Because uh I think that's what this does. Broken warp core. What happens if I bring this back to my ship? Question mark. I want to go back to my ship now. We're going to bring this with me. 
Like, it's broken. I don't think I can repair it. Like, I'm now concerned there's not really going to be an easy... I don't have any... I have to put this down somewhere. Or am I far, five ever holding it? Probably five ever holding it. You ship log. Do, 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 do. Not you. The information I have is from you. You entry. It appears some sort of input device. Yep. Okay. Um. Center of the world. Or the world's thing. I need to write this down. I don't have scrap paper nearby. You are important. All of those papers are important. Wait, wait. Asus technical updates. Yep, yeah, this is fine. I can I can remember. Where is that information though? I found that information when I went to the sun station. No. Uh module, this thing. Hey, you. I know there's more to explore here. <laughs> but but have you considered? So, that shape, that shape, and down, up, that shape. I need to make that shape a little bit better. Like that. Okay. I want to see what happens if I try to input those. Um, try to put this down. Can I can I put it with gear? No. Can I put it? No. I have nowhere to store this. It's just forever holding it. Great. Right. I'm gonna go back inside. Like, I don't think it's going to really do anything until I... Go to the Black Hole Forge. I don't know whether I have to take this with me there, but I don't think I have time to do that. What? I probably need to take the one that's in the twin tower fuel level critical. Okay. I should have refueled when I was back inside. But. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Is there air? Okay, I want to go over here. We're gonna try something a little bit crazy. back my ball please no. yes it did accept that last one uh, I'll take. Oh. oh wait I actually did want that one there and then uh Oxygen as a propellant. Um, I'm in a place that has oxygen, so I'm not worried. Oh, it cleared it. Shit. Okay, this is obnoxious. Stop. There. 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 Come 
to me. Good ball. Okay. Next one is here. Then there. There. And then there. Next one. This one is the more complex one. Oh, oh, oh. There. Oh. There. There. Cross down. There. There. And because we do not have a core, it's not going to be able to go anywhere. Okay. But. So we have those two pieces. Now we just need to get the working core that's at the, uh, cool. So I was right that uh, we needed to get the core. Gonna wait for a bit. Come I'm in here. the middle of some calibrations. We are in the middle of some calibrations. Hey, look, it's my ship. Can I exit out this way? Oh, I can. Leave me. Okay, now it's a problem that I'm using oxygen as propellant, but we're about to enter here, so. Ah, uh, except we're just gonna. We're not gonna be able to get back in time to do anything, so. I'm just gonna end this loop. All comes back to Ashton. How do we go there? So this is gonna be our last. Physically so love but mostly thick. It's a teleporter. Where would the teleporter be? I'm gonna laugh if it's somewhere on Timberheart. Where we all started. somewhere in the hanging city. All the warp towers were being constructed on Ashland, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. A mine named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. The alignment angle between a warp tower and Scar's master body warp tower alignment angles are not exact. You know, so my warp platform during active winter will be immediately teleported. Old settlements. Murals, the northern glacier. This is the warp from Whitehall Station. Okay. 
Okay, let's create a fun process location. I push the overload to maximize power sync, create the greatest chance of finding out of the universe. Is there a teleporter where I found the um, probe tracking module, I wonder? I didn't see it. I see a request on this should probably relaunch the probe. Probably so large, but the cannon structural integrity was compromised in the process. Launch module. Feldspar is alive. I know what this the vessel. No might disappear. The remaining of my clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. Big rip. I agree. I don't go back. Can I not? I guess I can't look at that one. Whitehall Station. There you go about that. The interloper. Was a teleporter to the center. Ash twin. Where would I be? I'm gonna go back to the hanging city. That's where we need to go right now. That's where everything is pointing towards. And I think I had realized where it was, and now I forget having figured every, having uh, gone after all the quantum stuff. Let's go to Brittle Hollow and take a look at the Hanging City. Like, I doubt it will be there. But I wonder. There is something else I wonder. If technically there could technically be one on Ember Twin. I'm gonna go back to the Sunless City. I think there might be a teleporter in the Sunless City. The Ash Twin. But we have to get there fast before it fills up with sand. so fast that I make mistakes. Luckily I have the route memorized. Oh, I wonder if it's at that other cave. So if we can't find it this way,
least that's the other possibility, is that that one cave that I've been having a hard time accessing, it might be there. Overlook, Stepping Stone District, High Energy Lab, Eye Shrine. Have I visited the Eye Shrine District? Like we're currently paused, but um. High Energy Lab or Eye Shrine District? Where's the Eye Shrine District? Up there. Lab. I do remember how to get there. A little bit of a ball ache, but... It says there's more to explore here. I actually want to look at the eye... Rhine District. at the high energy lab. Good to know. This is a very fast way to get in. I'm trying to see if there's anything down there among the cacti. I guess I can throw this down. Oh, ghost matter right there. Shit. The only place of those ghost matter. Here. There's not really anything else in this area. Shit. There's a fast way back in.
direction. Because I know this is the way I got to... Well, stepping stones makes sense because I have to step stone around. So I did figure out when they're like rough like this, they're children's writings. We're back in here. Because that just gives hints about the angler fish, which is unfortunately not helpful for what we're looking for right now. More about the angler fish, yep. Already found all of that. Oh, it says there's more to find. I guess we just cross at this point with the high energy lab, but it's too late to get there. I mean, we could. Let's see what time is it? Uh, yeah, we don't have time to go. that are right over here. I've read this, right? Should we build sensors attached to a project? Person is goal, yep. I want power. peaceful area. Stay. Right, that's where this goes. Again, still unhelpful. Yeah, my fuel level's slow. And there's nothing I can do about that in here. It seems like this one's a dead end. Which I mean, it's kind of what I was expecting. Yeah. Eva. Just a maze. down the one that's a little bit further. I might be able to get to uh, how do I get out of here though? Oh. It's actually one of their hats.
want to get into that one. Oh wait, I have an idea. Um, let's be smart about this. As long as I can out get out. information that I have seen before or no. We've been computating shell trajectories to the sun station. Don't worry, the station's in such a low stellar orbit, we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. It is a purely theoretical ex exercise on my part, Yarrow, who doesn't love comp computing a good, low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory. Hi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it'll be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. That would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle, and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. Which we already knew all of that. We've already been to sun station. Nope. We are gonna die soon. Actually, I think we're gonna die here, because there isn't a way out. Well... Aha! There is a way out. It's an auction left. It's good for me. No matter what, we are out of fuel. Like, we'll have plenty. Oh, I can't actually really jump that high. But, uh, this is gonna be the end. So. Um, as I was saying earlier, I do want to do another stream this week for this game. Um, unfortunately, Wednesdays is our usual Among Us night. Thursday, I am unfortunately going to be indisposed due to a, um, staff, uh, a chair meeting. Um, but either Friday or Saturday, I'll look to do another stream. I'll probably do a poll up on my Discord to figure out which day works for everyone. But we definitely didn't make a lot of progress. We finally got into the center of the uh, tornado planet, which is what we were wanting to do. So at least at that, we now know the coordinates. We know that this is like the millionth or so on of uh, loop, that we've only been a part party of 84 of them. But, uh, actually, technically 85 because it's completed loops. But, um,. We know the trajectory, we know how to input the trajectory into the shuttle, into the uh, vessel. We just need to get to the twin project to steal their uh, core to power the, shot the ship in order to go to the center of the universe for some reason. Like, will this give us a sensor? Will this let us find a Namai that is probably insane at this point because they are the one who has been... Uh, constantly repeating it, sending it different trajectories. And what's interesting is that there is something that is remembering the fact that this there has been loops and that there's been a bunch of trajectories. I, it might be linked to the memories. We will see when we get there, because that's where the twin project is. Um, hopefully we'll be able to figure out where the teleporter is for that, how to get there, because it's in the center of, um, I believe it's this planet that it's in, nope. No, it's actually in this one. I was hoping that it was gonna, the teleporter was gonna be somewhere in Ember Twin, um, and it would teleport us, but it does, that does not seem the case, so I do not know where it would be. Like, it's a possibility that's in Brittle Hollow by the Forge. We'll have to explore the Forge next time. Hollow's Lantern, it's not in. That was just where they tested. It 
it's not going to be on the interloper or dark bramble. So the only options are Giant's Deep and Brittle Hollow. And my guess is probably Brittle Hollow. And there's our death. Ugh. Oh, that is the most unpleasant sounding death. But I'm going to call it here. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Again, I will let you guys know what I'm going to be streaming next because I do I do want to get in a stream for Sunday of this game. And hopefully that stream will wrap everything up. Fingers crossed. I might go on Saturday, start early, and just go until we're done. <gasps> But I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope to see some of you in Among Us on tomorrow, Wednesday. And if not, I will hopefully see you guys when I stream next. So, is there anyone streaming right now who we can read? Loading up. Oh, Case, are you still streaming? If Case is still streaming open up yeah case is still streaming so let us go raid case raid that's two a's okay ah uh, ye but have a wonderful rest of the night everyone hopefully i'll see you all Later. Bye. Now, I was looking at your channel right now, girl. I was about to read you. Justin? Nope.